welcome to ranker sir now you might have watched my previous video on clocks now today we are going to discuss a topic called time and distance now in this video let's see how to answer any question given in time and distance in 10 seconds in 10 seconds without using formula in a different way not using our regular way that is the formula which we already know and which we have been using that is speed equal to distance by time the formula to find out speed is distance by time now let us look into the first question now the first question says that by increasing his speed by 25% a man reaches his office from his house 10 minutes early find the time taken by him to reach his office traveling at his usual speed so there is a man in this problem he usually travels to his office at a regular speed some speed we don't know what is the speed but one day suddenly he increase his speed by 20% because he increase the speed by 25% he reach his office 10 minutes early now the question is if he travels at his usual speed how much time will he take to reach his office that's the question now if you look carefully here what is constant in this problem he is traveling from his house to office vaadu inti nunchi office ki elthunadu vaadu illu maarthe tappa distance will be same so what is constant the distance is constant now what is the formula for distance distance is nothing but speed into time now here let us assume now i am giving you a traditional way the general way how people solve this question later on let us discuss a method where we can answer this question not taking more than 10 seconds in a very simple way now the general way now we know that distance is speed into time if i assume the usual speed is s and his usual time is t now the distance what he is traveling should be s into t speed into time it should be equal to the distance now what did he do he increased the speed by 25% so 25% of s so what should be the new speed s plus 25% that is 1/4 of s now how much is s plus 1/4 of s 1 1 by 4 is nothing but 5 by 4 so now his speed will be 5 by 4 into s into now he reaches his office 10 minutes early early means is he taking more time or less time ekku teesukuntunada takku teesukuntunada definitely he will be taking less time so he takes 10 minutes less when i say he reached 10 minutes early that means he is taking 10 minutes less than his usual time what is the usual time we have taken here t so now the time what he will be taking is t minus 10 so once again speed into time should give us the distance so we know that distance is constant so equate these two equations because both are equal to distance so s into t which is a distance will also be equal to 5 by 4 into s into t minus 10 now solving this i cancel s and s on either side now bring this four here 4t equal to 5 into t 5t minus 5 into 10 50. Now bring this minus 50 here, 4t there. So it's 5t minus 4t equal to 50. So t will be equal to 50 minutes. So the usual time actually he takes to reach his office, traveling at his usual speed will be 50 minutes. Now see how lengthy you have done to solve this problem. ఈ ప్రాబ్లం చేయాలంటే ఇంత లెందీగా చేయాలా అవసరం లేదు వీ డోంట్ రిక్వైర్ టు ఆన్సర్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇన్ సచ్ ఏ లెందీ వే వీ కెన్ టెల్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఇన్ ఏ సింగిల్ స్టెప్ ఇన్ టెన్ సెకండ్స్ నాట్ మోర్ నాట్ టేకింగ్ మోర్ దాన్ టెన్ సెకండ్స్ నా వాట్ ఈస్ అ కాన్సెప్ట్ దట్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు యూస్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఎ కాన్సెప్ట్ కాల్డ్ రేషోస్ ఇఫ్ యూ డిడ్ నాట్ వాచ్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ ఆఫ్ రేషోస్ ప్లీజ్ వాచ్ ద వీడియో ఇన్ ద suggested video given on the top now let us see how to answer this question by using a concept called ratios in a simple way now what do you mean by ratio ratio is nothing but a comparison between two or more similar quantities 
Now in this particular problem, we know that distance is constant. Now when distance is constant, distance same in Apudu, then speed and time will be inversely proportional to each other. Speed pergute time tagali. If speed increases, time should decrease. When speed decreases, time should increase. Speed tagute time pergali. Now this happens when distance is constant. Now in this particular problem also we can see he is traveling from his house to office. So definitely distance is constant. Now I assume his usual speed is S1. Later on when he increases his speed, his speed is S2. Now what is the ratio of the speeds? If I assume his usual speed is 100, then his new speed should be 125 because it is increased by 25%. Now what is the ratio? 25 fourths, 25 fives. So definitely speeds are in the ratio of 4 is to 5. And when distance is constant, definitely time will be in the inverse ratio because speed and time are inversely proportional to each other. So when speeds are in the ratio of 4 is to 5, then definitely time taken to reach with his office will be in the ratio of 4 is to 5, sorry 5 is to 4. When speeds are in the ratio of 4 is to 5, definitely time taken will be in the ratio of 5 is to 4. Now what is this 5? 5 is nothing but his usual time. That is the time he takes to reach his office traveling at his usual speed and 4 is the time what he takes when he increases the speed by 25%. Now what is the difference here? Here it is 5 parts, here it is 4 parts. The difference is one part. That one part is nothing but the difference in time that is 10 minutes. So when I say he reached his office 10 minutes early, it's nothing but the difference in time taken by him will be 10 minutes. So if one part is 10 minutes, this 5 part should be 50 minutes. So his usual time, that is the time he takes to reach his office traveling at his usual speed will be 50 minutes. Now you can clearly see the difference. There we have write, written equations. Here we did not write any equations. We, here we have only numbers. Simple calculation using the numbers to tell the answer. We have seen how easy it is to solve these questions by using a concept called ratios. Now all of you give it try and try to answer this question not taking more than 10 seconds. The question is by decreasing his speed by 40%, a man reaches his office from his house 16 minutes late. Find the time taken by him to reach his office traveling at his usual speed. Now 16 minutes late. What is this 16 minutes? It may be early or it may be late. Tondar garani, late garani. That 16 minutes is nothing but the difference in time. Time no difference adi. Now here, do we know what is his usual speed? We do not know. Let his usual speed be S1, later on his speed is S2. I take his usual speed S1 as 100 and this speed is decreasing by, he decreasing his speed by 40%. That means now his speed should be 60. Now what is the ratio? 25s, 23s. So the ratio of speeds is 5 is to 3. So definitely time should be in the ratio of 3 is to 5 inverse ratio. Now here what is the difference in time? Now see carefully here usual time is 3 parts and the new time is 5 parts. The difference is how many parts? 2 parts. That 2 parts should be equal to 16 minutes and 1 part will be equal to 16 by 2 8 minutes. This is all you should be able to do orally. If you can do it orally definitely you can answer this question in 10 seconds. Now one part is 8 minutes, usual time is 3 parts, one part is 8 minutes, 3 parts, 3 into 8, 24 minutes. So the time he takes to reach his office, traveling at his usual speed will be 24 minutes. So now can you see the difference, how quickly you can answer this question by using the concept called ratio. For more videos on aptitude, please subscribe to our channel Rank Us Up. Now let us look into the next question. A man traveling at a speed of 24 kilometers per hour reaches his office from his house 18 minutes late. 
ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ కిలోమీటర్స్ పర్ అవర్ స్పీడ్తో వెళ్తున్నప్పుడు వాడు తన ఆఫీస్కి ఎయిటీన్ మినిట్స్ లేట్ వెళ్ళాడు నా ఇఫ్ హీ ట్రావెల్స్ అట్ ఎ స్పీడ్ ఆఫ్ థర్టీ కిలోమీటర్స్ పర్ అవర్ దెన్ హీ రీచెస్ ట్వెల్వ్ మినిట్స్ లేట్ ఒకవేళ వాడు థర్టీ కిలోమీటర్స్ పర్ అవర్ స్పీడ్తో వెళ్తే దెన్ అప్పుడు ట్వెల్వ్ మినిట్స్ లేట్ వెళ్ళాడు నా వెన్ హీ వాస్ ట్రావెలింగ్ అట్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ కిలోమీటర్స్ పర్ అవర్ హీ రీచ్ ఈజ్ ఆఫీస్ ఎయిటీన్ మినిట్స్ లేట్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ కిలోమీటర్స్ పర్ అవర్ స్పీడ్తో వెళ్తే ఎయిటీన్ మినిట్స్ లేట్ వెళ్ళాడు అదే థర్టీ కిలోమీటర్స్ పర్ అవర్ స్పీడ్తో వెళ్తే ట్వెల్వ్ మినిట్స్ లేట్ వెళ్ళాడు దీన్ని బట్టి మీకు ఏం అర్థమైంది వాట్ డిడ్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ దట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ హియర్ వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ అనలైజ్ రిగార్డింగ్ ద స్పీడ్స్ అండ్ ద టైమ్ ట్రావెలింగ్ అట్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ కిలోమీటర్స్ పర్ అవర్ హీ ఈస్ లేట్ బై ఎయిటీన్ మినిట్స్ ట్రావెలింగ్ అట్ థర్టీ కిలోమీటర్స్ పర్ అవర్ హీ ఈస్ లేట్ బై ట్వెల్వ్ మినిట్స్ ఏమర్థమైంది వాట్ డిడ్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ హియర్ నా ట్రావెలింగ్ అట్ థర్టీ కిలోమీటర్స్ పర్ అవర్ he reached 6 minutes early than traveling at 24 kilometers per hour 30 kilometers per hour speed tho velinappudu 6 minutes thondara gelipayadu they tho compare chese 24 kilometers per hour speed tho compare chesthe deentlo 6 minutes thondara gelipayadu ante what is the difference in time rondit majjalo time difference enta it is nothing but 6 minutes here it is 18 minutes late here it is 12 minutes late both are late 18 minutes late 12 minutes late so but when i compare here i say that traveling at 30 km per hour he reached 6 minutes early than traveling at 24 km per hour 30 km per hour speed tho vellapudu 6 minutes thondara gelladu deento compare chesinappudu 24 km per hour speed tho compare chesinappudu so i can say that the difference in time here is 6 minutes now the moment you know this you can directly apply the logic of ratios to answer this question a question ni answer cheyalante simple ga ratio ane concept apply chesthe chaala easy ga ostundi ela see here how just check what is constant in this problem definitely distance and when distance is constant speed and time are inversely proportional to each other now in the previous two problems we have assumed the speeds but here we need not assume the speeds because already the speeds are given ikkada speeds assume cheskovalsina avasaram ledhu endukante already speeds ichchadu kabatti now what are the speeds at which he was traveling now initially he was traveling at a speed of 24 kilometers per hour which is s1 later on he is traveling at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour which is s2 so what is the ratio 6 4 6 5 so speeds are in the ratio of 4 is to 5 now when speeds are in the ratio of 4 is to 5 and when distance is constant distance constant i.e. speeds are in the 4 is to 5 ratio lo unte then time time are in the a ratio lo unte so definitely time will be in the inverse ratio inverse ratio lo unte what is the inverse ratio of 4 is to 5 definitely the inverse ratio of 4 is to 5 is 5 is to 4 now 5 4 don't it look difference and what is the difference in 5 and 4 it is one part that one part difference and then you know you can 18 minutes later you can 12 minutes late here is late by 18 minutes here is late by 12 minutes what is the difference 6 minutes so one part is 6 minutes here the difference in time is one part which is 6 minutes now which one you have to take it's up to you five parts one part 6 minutes i take five parts and the five six are 30 minutes now what is this 30 minutes this 30 minutes is the time what he is taking to reach his office traveling at a speed of 24 kilometers per hour 24 kilometers per hour speed to velina pudu vaadu office ki 30 minutes lo velipothunadu office enta dooram lo undi at what distance is his office from his house do you require pen and paper to answer this 24 kilometers per hour what do you mean by 24 kilometers per hour for every one hour he will be traveling 24 kilometers 24 kilometers per hour ante enti ganta ki 24 kilometers travel chesadu but he is reaching his office in 30 minutes that is half an hour kani vaadu office ki ara ganta lone velipothunadu 24 kilometers per hour speed tho velthunappudu so 24 kilometers per hour 
స్పీడ్తో వెళ్తున్నప్పుడు అరగంటలో ఆఫీస్కి వెళ్ళిపోయాడంటే ఆఫీస్ ఎంత దూరంలో ఉంది గంటకి ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ కిలోమీటర్స్ అరగంటకి దట్లా సగం దట్ ఈస్ ట్వెల్వ్ కిలోమీటర్స్ సో డెఫినెట్లీ ద డిస్టెన్స్ ఈస్ ట్వెల్వ్ కిలోమీటర్స్ నా ట్రావెలింగ్ ఎట్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ కిలోమీటర్స్ పర్ అవర్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ కిలోమీటర్స్ ఇన్ వన్ అవర్ ఇన్ వన్ అవర్ హీల్ బీ ట్రావెలింగ్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ కిలోమీటర్స్ బట్ హీఈస్ రీచింగ్ ఈజ్ ఆఫీస్ ఇన్ హాఫ్ అన్ అవర్ ఇన్ హాఫ్ అన్ అవర్ హీల్ బీ ట్రావెలింగ్ హౌ మెనీ కిలోమీటర్స్ ట్వెల్వ్ కిలోమీటర్స్ హాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ సో డెఫినెట్లీ ద డిస్టెన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఈస్ హౌస్ టు ఆఫీస్ షుడ్ బీ ట్వెల్వ్ కిలోమీటర్స్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ వాచింగ్ ఫర్ మోర్ వీడియోస్ ప్లీజ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ అవర్ ఛానల్ please like and comment if you have any doubts regarding any chapter in aptitude please put the doubts in the comments for more videos you can check here and for playlist you can check here thank you for watching